In this video I'm going to go through the process of identifying antisense transcription from a directional RNA-seq library. You can see that I've imported my directional RNA-seq data already and that in this case the majority of reads have a direction which is opposing the direction of the feature that they sit underneath. So this is an opposing strand library. Different techniques will produce libraries that are on the same strand as the feature and you just need to take note of which is which. The annotations that we have for our genome already contain several annotated antisense genes and because we want to be able to use these later I'm going to create a track showing where the known antisense genes are already. To do this I'm going to do a search and I'm going to search for antisense in all of my mRNA features. This should set, give me a list of known antisense transcripts and I'm going to save these in an annotation track so I can use them later. The antisense quantitation pipeline that we're going to use here requires that we specify a set of features that we're going to use. In this case we're going to analyze each gene separately. We're going to tell it which kind of directional library we have. In our case, as it is an opposing strand specific library, and we're going to specify the p-value for the set of automatically identified antisense genes that are going to be discovered. I'm going to start the pipeline running and then say how it works. So what the pipeline does is it first goes through the entire data set looking for the average level of antisense transcription seen across the whole data set. None of the directional protocols used to make directional libraries are perfect in that they all allow leakage of the opposing strand at a small level. This pipeline goes through finding out what that overall level is and then it goes back through each individual gene looking at the total number of reads that sit under that gene. It then works out an expected number of antisense reads that you would see based on what the overall level of antisense transcription genome-wide is and then uses a binomial test to see whether the actual observed number of antisense reads is significantly higher than what you'd expect. The quantitative value that you see underneath each gene is simply the observed over expected value so that for some genes like this you can see that there's a fair mix of forward and reverse reads sitting under this read under this gene and we have a, an observed over expected value of nearly four whereas many other ones will have a value much closer to one. In addition to performing the quantitation the quantitation pipeline will also generate a probe list for every data set that it has and that will be the set of genes whose significance was below the threshold that you set uh, when you ran the pipeline. So I can look at just the significantly antisense transcribing genes. To get a summary of what I've got I'm going to create a report from this and I'm going to annotate it with any overlapping antisense mRNAs, so known annotated antisense mRNAs. I can also then sort my hits by the false discovery rate to try and get the ones that with the most confidence and I can see that I have a set of hits now and if I look at these I should be able to see that in this case here I have a reverse gene with a set of reverse reads which would be antisense transcription because this is an opposing library and if I go down to some of the known antisense transcribing regions here I have a part of my genome where I have two genes in opposing directions sitting over each other so again it's not unexpected that there's antisense transcription down here. So in one simple step I've identified a number of regions in the genome where the annotated genes uh, are in the incorrect direction given where the majority of reads from the RNA-seq actually sit and in one step I can therefore identify a full set of candidates in this case of around 11,000 genes where there is a significant level of antisense transcription occurring within my sample. 